Hi students, um, new video for us today focusing on some vocabulary that I have heard a lot over the last few weeks, specifically about the coronavirus and this COVID-19. Um, my hope is that this vocabulary is helpful to you. Um, some of the vocabulary is funny and I hope you will get a small laugh out of a little bit and some of the vocabulary is more serious, and all of this vocabulary, I think, will be helpful for you during this situation. So the first thing for us to talk about is this phrase, COVID-19. Um, this is used the same as the phrase coronavirus. However, COVID-19 is the name of the specific type of coronavirus that is spreading across the world right now. So the name COVID comes, the CO comes from the word Corona, the VI comes from the word virus, and the D comes from the word disease. 19 is from 2019 because this strain, this type of the coronavirus DNA was first found in 2019. Um, an important word that we are hearing a lot is this word quarantine. Quarantine. Quarantine is both a noun and a verb. We are hearing the word isolate. Isolate, a strong I. Isolate, which is the verb. And the word isolation. Isolation, which is the noun. Quarantine means separate somebody for a medical purpose, a medical reason. Isolate also has the feeling of separate, but it could be for any reason. Um, it's not necessarily a medical purpose. Isolation is the noun form, the situation of staying away. A few quick examples of sentences. Um, the doctors quarantined the patient with COVID-19. ED here to show the past, quarantined. There is a quarantine in the city of New York. Here the noun. There is noun, situation. We are practicing self-isolation, noun form, self-isolation. The people are isolating themselves. Here the verb, the verb be, ing, Present, continuous, the people are isolating themselves to prevent the spread of the virus. Um, a few fun vocabulary words. We have the word binge, binge, that G is making the J, J sound, binge. And this beautiful phrase called a silver lining. Binge means to do something too much where it almost becomes a negative situation. Silver lining is an idiom or a phrase that means finding a positive result from a negative situation. A few sentence examples. I was binging on chocolate during the sad movie. Past continuous, verb be, ing, meaning I was eating too much chocolate during the sad situation. What are you binge watching on Netflix? What show, what series are you binge watching during the isolation? I binged that series during the quarantine. Here the ED to show past, simple past. I binged that series. Silver lining. What silver lining can you find during this situation? Silver lining. A positive result from a negative situation. One silver lining for me is that I get to sleep in every morning because I don't have to be at work by 8 a.m. I am teaching online. Sleeping in every day is my silver lining. Three additional important words are the word outbreak, outbreak, Epidemic, epidemic, 
and pandemic. Pandemic. Outbreak. Epidemic. Pandemic. All three of these words are nouns. They are all discussing the spread of an illness in an area. Each word is larger. Outbreak is a small event where illness is spreading in a small area. Epidemic is a larger event where the illness is spreading across a larger area. The word pandemic means multiple countries. Outbreak becomes larger, it becomes epidemic, which becomes larger and becomes pandemic. This does not have any result, though, of how strong the virus is or how serious the virus is. Um, this just means the quantity or the number of people affected. For example, an outbreak of Ebola is a lot more serious of influenza. A pandemic of influenza is spreading across multiple countries, but most people will become healthy again. An outbreak of Ebola is maybe a small area, but Ebola is a more serious disease more people will die from. So outbreak becomes larger, epidemic becomes larger, pandemic, but it's not connected to how strong or serious the virus is. A few quick sentence examples. Um, this outbreak of COVID-19 began in the Wuhan province of China. After a few weeks, it became an epidemic because a large number of people were infected. Soon the virus spread across multiple countries and the WHO, World Health Organization, declared it a pandemic. Important vocabulary for jobs during this time. We have this phrase of laid off and we use it like a passive to get, to be laid off. As a noun, a layoff and a verb phrase to file unemployment. To get laid off means that you lose your job but not because you are a bad employee. You lose your job because the company closes, the factory closes, the restaurant closes. Um, if you work on a farm, maybe you get laid off during the winter. My brother works construction. He gets laid off every winter. A layoff is the noun form, again, the situation of people losing jobs because the company is closing or there is no more work available. To file unemployment means to give your application to the government to receive unemployment money. A few sentence examples for this vocabulary. Many companies will lay off their employees during this time. The employees will get laid off. There was a layoff at the factory because the demand for the product decreased. I will file unemployment because I was laid off by my company. A really great phrase to add during this time is this adverb, lightly. Many of us have heard the word serious and seriously, but the word light, we often think about light from the sun, light from the sky, or the heaviness, the weight, the mass, the kilograms of an object, light or heavy. When I say to take something lightly, this is the opposite of to take something seriously. For example, the Prime Minister of United Kingdom was taking the virus lightly and telling people to keep living their normal lives. He wasn't taking the virus seriously. On Friday, he was diagnosed with COVID-19. Our last chunk of vocabulary, I think, is a little bit more fun. 
First, we have the word curfew, which is a time limit for being out of your house. Often we hear this in regards to teenagers. Um, a teenager has a curfew of 9 p.m. Recently, we heard this in some cities and states implementing or instituting, starting a curfew, a time when people should be back into their homes. These bottom three are especially fun idioms for this period of isolation. This phrase, to go stir crazy. And then the phrase cabin fever, which functions as a noun. Both of these have a similar feeling of feeling crazy because you are doing nothing. For example, there was a huge blizzard. We were all stuck in the house for one week. We couldn't leave the house because of the snow. I went stir crazy. My children are going stir crazy because we can only play in the house and in the backyard. We can't go to visit our friends. I have cabin fever. Again, imagine a cabin in the woods surrounded by snow. You are unable to leave this cabin. You are stuck in this small cabin and you start to feel crazy. She has cabin fever. The last phrase, to be cooped up, has a feeling like to be stuck someplace, unable to leave. To be cooped up. I was cooped up last week. This actually comes from the word coop, which means a house or a chicken, a chicken coop. Um, there's a few pictures here of a coop on the side. So the feeling that the chicken has in this tiny house limited, stuck, unable to fly, move, the feeling of right now that we are having in our houses. We are cooped up at home. A few sentence examples to show these phrases and idioms. The city passed a curfew requiring all people to be in their homes by 6 p.m. I was going stir crazy the verb go, stir crazy. I was going stir crazy during the isolation. My kids have cabin fever. We were cooped up in the house during a terrible blizzard and we started to go stir crazy. The last piece that I want to address is this phrase state of emergency. So state of emergency is a phrase to describe a specific law passed by a leader of an area, usually the mayor of a city, the governor of a state, the president of the country. And this opens up some larger powers that then the leader can use. For instance, to stop or limit travel, um, to require all people to stay in their homes, um, to close all restaurants. During a huge flood, the mayor of the city declared a state of emergency, which allowed him to access some extra money from the city um, savings. The governor declared a state of emergency because of the COVID-19 pandemic. This allowed him to close all restaurants, bars, gyms, um, gathering places. So these are the new vocabulary words that we have practiced during this video. The phrase COVID-19, quarantine, isolate, isolation, binge, these four beautiful idioms, a silver lining, to go stir crazy, cabin fever, to be cooped up, these three phrases, these three nouns for illness of outbreak, epidemic, pandemic, remember those are growing larger, to get laid off, a layoff, to file unemployment, to take something lightly, and then this last phrase, a state of emergency. 
Do you have any other vocabulary that you have seen um, in regards to the COVID-19, the coronavirus pandemic, that you are not sure about the vocabulary? Um, leave them in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, take this vocabulary, put it into sentences. Leave the sentences in the comments under the video, and I would be very happy to give you some feedback on your sentences. Until next time, students. Bye.